Hey guys! Okay, let me tell you what's going on here. What I did so far. I took the carb off. I took the carb apart. I submerged this in Berry Man's for 24 hours and I put it on my ultrasonic cleaner on uh, 50 centigrade or no, no, 60 centigrade for two hours. It got it pretty clean. Um, what I'm also what I also did is um, you know naturally I took this completely apart before I put it in the berry mans because there's there's a few rubber o-rings in here that you have to remove you know like this rubber ring here you have to remove it did get it clean pretty pretty good now I polished it a little bit I have to give this another polish I I have to buy um, the miniature buffing wheels, but uh, it's actually it's actually getting there right now. As you see, it's it's almost a mirror polish. It needs to be polished a little bit more. I even got the brass bolt down there. Uh, my main jet is. I think it's an 076. It should be an 078. My intermediate jet is an 040. So, um, I'm going to hold off on bet buying the 078 jet right now. Um, there's also that little plug in there. It's that's recommended whenever you whenever you run an aftermarket air cleaner system. That's recommended to come off. And then we have to make a few settings on here, just a few things on here recommended by the SNS company. But these are really easy to take apart. They're very easy to take apart. Hold on a minute. Yeah, these are real easy to take apart. Uh, the only thing that did break on me is, where is that at? This little rubber boot here that goes on the accelerator pump plunger, that did, it was just all crumbled up. So I took one off of my Honda Rebels carburetor, I put it on here, and I ordered one for this. So when this one comes in, I'll put that boot on my Honda Rebels carburetor. But the, uh, the Honda Rebels boot is actually working out. The opening was a little smaller, but it's, it, it's working out fine. It'll, it'll do fine. So this is basically completely cleaned out. Uh, we took the accelerator pump off. We cleaned that out. There's two little teeny weeny little ball bearings in here and a real small spring. you got to watch you don't lose those. You know, maybe what I'll do for you guys, I'll take this apart again once I'm done buffing it. And uh, I'll just, I'll blow it out a little bit. I mean, these are really easy to take apart, guys. Now, the Honda Rebel, I can't, I can't, it doesn't want to start for nothing. I replaced the CDI with a good CDI. Still doesn't want to start. Now, I took the stator out. Um, my neutral wire, I did solder it. Um, the stator wires right where that goes into your left side engine case, they are bent a little bit and some of the coppers exposed. I don't know if they were making contact with each other. Um, I don't even know. They, they, they might have been contacting the case. That could have been why it wasn't starting. So what I have to do is I'm going to rewire that and the neutral wire. Um, I'm going to try to buy the color correct wire for this. Hold on a minute, guys. I got to blow my nose.
Oh man, this cold weather is horrible. So yeah, that's what's going on there. You can see the there's there's no breaks. The, the wires aren't broken, but I mean, even though this piece of rubber was moved up, actually. Uh, we'll try to do that. Um, if that's not the problem, I'm going to take the whole wiring harness off and we're going to open up the entire wiring harness and just basically go over, over everything from the solenoid to the ignition. But, um, yeah, I, I'm not getting a spark. There's a, what, what's going on is I'm getting a spark, like a, a teeny weeny spark every once in a while but it's not starting not it doesn't start with the with a single carburetor on and it doesn't start with the double carburetors on so it has to be since I'm not getting a spark it has to be an electric issue might be this might not but uh, this needs rewired I wish, I wish I could just rewire the stator from in here. But uh, this is sealed, so we're going to have to... We'll have to cut the wires where they're severed, and uh, we'll have to just solder new wires on here. So that's what's going on with the Honda. And uh, it's like 20 degrees outside, it's real cold. Now today what I'll do <coughs> is um, I'll get myself some little buffing wheels and we'll buff this. I want to get it like a mirror. I want, I want to basically, I want to get everything like that. It's not very hard to do. And once I get this buck down, I'll take this. I'll, I'll do a video on breaking these down and putting it back together again. They're pretty easy. They're not. They're not hard at all to do, guys. So you know the insides cleaned out. We got that. This is a super G, by the way. I thought I had a super E on there, but this is a super G. So, uh, all right, catch you later.